Okay, so this video is tilted towards more, more towards beginners in terms of shader coding. So uh, yeah, this effect is going to be quite basic. But if you're a beginner, I I'm pretty sure it will help you understand a lot of things in the shader programming world. And yeah, partly I'm doing this video because I also want to share knowledge and I myself I'm just starting out with shaders, so uh, I thought it was it would be cool if I could share it with somebody and hopefully help them out with shader coding. So yeah, okay. I'm using GLSL app, which is basically like it doesn't matter what tool you use, you can just use a shader toy or whatever tool you're using. It doesn't matter as long as you get the job done. So yeah, this uh, aside from this, I guess we can start. So we have two textures. I have like preloaded them. The first one being the actual base texture, the video that we're going to render the effect onto. And the second one being the noise texture uh, that we're going to use for noise to generate water. But I guess you can also create your own noise generator. You don't have to use this texture specifically. I just do it because I'm lazy. I'm gonna be honest with you. So yeah. Um, <clears throat> or pass in a value here that will be randomly generated. I don't know, man. So yeah, okay, we can start with actually the actual mapping of the te first texture to output call. Texture, U textures. We get the first texture of the given textures. So this one. And we use a coordinate QB which is a fragment coordinate or pixel coordinate, whatever you want to call it. And then we send it out, out color, like this. And it should be an In this case, I remember it being a video, but I guess it's not a video, it's an image. Okay, whatever. Uh, it doesn't really matter. But yeah, okay. Next we can probably just uh, load in the noise texture as well with u textures one uv and one being this one so we're loading this texture okay this could easily be just a value a random value that you pass to the shader or like something like a random value like 1.0 0 0.5 or 0 0.2 or whatever um, but yeah, in this case, I'm just using a texture. Now, next thing, you have to think like, huh, what's the next step? We have to actually merge them in some way. And depending on its uh, strength, like of the pixel, if it's black or if it's white, we should generate some kind of distortion. Uh, and this distortion, this distortion can be actually achieved quite easily. You can just plus the UV and the um, noise call, um, I guess RR or whatever, to get some basic distortion going on. And in this case, it's kind of, it's static obviously, because we haven't implemented some animations yet, but okay, bear with me. It's um, just some basic distortion. I guess you can try to modify it, modify it with, I guess multiply it with two or something, or actually vector, Sorry, vector two, uh, noise call dot r, noise call dot r, and just multiply it with two or three or four, or whatever, and it will change. But yeah, noise call dot r. Okay. So perhaps we wanna know, like, I guess this is too too much strength. I guess we can we wanna lower it and keep it on some boundary because it is too much water I guess. You could just do like a float strength like a basic variable I don't know 0 0.1 and then just multiply it with the strength and you would get something that's less distorted and more like water actually. So maybe you would have 0 0.1 point I guess 0 0.5 or 0 0.2 or something like that. 
but you can see it's still kind of bad it's still kind of like detailed it's too detailed it would, it would be cooler if we could have it more zoomed in so how the hell do you do that well you just go here and kind of divide it's if you use logic you're going to divide the coordinate by which you sam take the uh, pixel the random pixels from you just divide them and it will take a broader broader um, uh, spectrum or whatever so yeah you just do I don't know two yeah okay two or three or four or five and we can put this into a variable as well so zoom so float zoom um, five and you can see now it's getting kind of cool but we're gonna make it move because water doesn't stay still so how do you achieve that well one basic way of doing it is just um, addition with some thing that changes over time in this case we have already a like variable for it u that time which is a given function a given function yeah a given variable um, for for um, the time since we have started the shader so it increases over time and you can see it's kind of too quick so we can try to lower it in some way or modulate it and just as easy as doing it with the strength maybe like 0.5 or 0.1 that's more like it, but we can put it into a variable as well, like scroll speed to make it more obvious. So float, scroll speed, sleep, yeah, speed, 0 0.1. And we have our basic water shader, or effect, call it whatever. So, yeah, <clears throat> I guess that's actually it for this. I guess you can, I guess you can play with these uh, parameters and... Yeah, whatever the hell you want to try to achieve, but this is what I have learned so far, and um, yeah, thanks for watching. I guess I'll continue making some tutorials with these shaders, although I'm not sure. Depends on how much I learn and stuff like that, so yeah. Oh, by the way, you can find the sources for this in the description. It should be a guest.github link. I'll just put it there for you to download it.